This little cabin I've been working on for quite a while started in Spain and I'm calling it Made in Spain and it's made out of sweet chestnut which is a wood that we don't have anymore really. I've got a few chestnut trees that potentially might make some sweet nuts. Here's a couple of burrs from last year. They're kind of interesting. Uh, they did make some burrs which have some immature seeds in there. So it's American chestnut, similar to American chestnut and you can actually eat the nuts. They're beautiful nuts. It's a nice wood to work, very similar to butternut in color, but strong, uh, tougher, a little more like ash in workability. So it's got a single door, a little ivory pole, a little panel made out of some dense uh, southern yellow pine kind of material. This came out of the shop. There's a timber there that I was able to use. And um, it's, it's uh, just raised uh, all the way around, and then a little ebony bead, very, very fine. It's less than an eighth of an inch there all the way around. It's so really about two millimeters thick, so we're talking about more closer to a sixteenth, although it's not. And then inside you've got a little drawer, a little olive drawer. And that has got an Engelmann spruce bottom. And it's got sycamore sides with dovetails, obviously. You can see a little raised bottom all the way around. And then this little joint at the back, which is very good for... Um, just having a back as far back in the case in your drawer as possible, just sort of a pressure fit little tongue and groove. With some end grain glue in there, uh, it actually is pretty good. And then a little, a nice little shaped shelves there, a little teeny fine bead shaped on the shelves. You can see the cornice up there, which is that ebonized pear, and these very really fine little pieces of um, abalone that came out of a shell that I got in Japan. We were served an abalone one night at dinner with these people. We were uh, being entertained by and I saved the shells from us and I finally there I could saw them and get these fine pieces out of them Got this little molding under the top little black and whites notice that they start on black and end on black which is not always easy to do and then you've got this little panel in the side and you can see that this has got um, a little bit of a reminiscent of the sky in Spain at night. You see the little moon glow, the mother pearl at the top, little stars in the sky, some sort of burly material. And then this little sort of band of abalone at the bottom there, that blue, and then the hills of Spain made in olive. And you get another view of the cornice there. The ebony really helps it pop. It pops the shell up. It's all about translucence of, of light, I think is what we'd say how the light goes through the material and gets bounced around. The more polished it is, the better, and having ebony behind it. So that's made in Spain.